I deleted Notion and planned my entire year using just Apple apps. Every goal, every to-do, everything that comes with being a full-time college student with a job. These apps used to feel like second options, but after years of quiet updates, they're more powerful than most people think. So if you're tired of overcomplicated systems, this may be the only setup you actually need. In this video, I'm walking you through my entire Apple ecosystem. Think of it as a tour. You'll learn how to plan your entire year, manage your goals, and track your day-to-day -day actions. And at the very end of this video, I'll show you how I supercharged all three of these tools in a way that no one else has ever shared on the platform. Let's start with planning your year using your Apple calendar. This is the foundation of everything we're going to build on. When you map out your entire year, you give yourself a high level overview of what's to come. So instead of waking up lost or wasting time, you'll know exactly what to do and when to do it. When I first decided to plan out my entire year using Apple apps, I knew a calendar was where I was going to have to start, but honestly, it was extremely overwhelming. There's a lot coming at you, deadlines, due dates, and a bunch of responsibilities, but the key is not to focus on the specific tasks, rather to focus on the time period. So I started by entering some key dates, work meetings, class registrations, anything that was already fixed on my calendar. Apple Calendar has this amazing feature where you can assign colors to different calendars. Red was school, blue was content, and green was personal slash work. I used this as a visual cue to differentiate what I was planning. Just tap add calendar, give it a name like school or workouts, then choose a color for it. Now every event you add underneath that calendar gets auto tagged. And the best part, you can toggle calendars on and off so you can focus on only one type of activity at a time. So if I'm deep in a study sprint, I'll hide everything except my school calendar. If I'm focused on content for a weekend, I will only look at my blue task. That prevents me from multitasking before I even start working on an activity. From there, I'll build out what I like to refer to as anchor periods. Things like final season, where I know everything else is going to have to take a backseat to school. If your career has a busy season, or if you're in the middle of an internship right now, those are perfect anchor periods to block in. The reason for anchoring these periods is to mentally and literally prepare for them. If I can see that finals are coming up in a month, I can front load content work and communicate with my boss better before things get too chaotic. So when the pressure hits, I'm not scrambling. I've already created space for me to thrive in it. Once my anchor periods and core calendars were set up, I could zoom out and get a quick view of how my year is going to flex. Which months were going to be free, which months were going to be really intense, and maybe where I could fit in a little more balance. Now obviously staying synced with your calendar is its own challenge completely, but that's something we're going to cover in the reminder section of my Apple ecosystem. For now, we're going to move on to capture the big picture your long-term plans your goals your ideas this is where notes is going to come in apple notes has gone through a complete transformation over the past few years especially with apple intelligence it's quietly become one of the best tools for goal tracking and personal organization while tools like notion are fantastic for building complex dashboards apple notes wins through minimalism there's power in how simple it is to use so before i walk you through my entire system i want to touch on some key features you need to know we will start with the simple ones but then get into some more advanced strategies as we go along. Feature number one, folders and subfolders. Start by creating folders for your major life areas. For me, that was content, school, and work. Inside each folders, you're able to put specific notes just for that category. This allowed me to stay organized without overwhelming my thoughts. You shouldn't have to look through 50 different notes to find the one work email you needed. Feature number two, checklists and tables. This is a fantastic way to structure and visualize different ideas you may have. Checklists are great for breaking down larger goals into smaller subsections like weekly habit trackers. Tables add structure like a content planner or a goal tracker all without needing a spreadsheet. And the best part, all of this lives natively on your phone, iPad, or Mac. There's no switching between 100 different apps to find what you need. Now before I get into the more advanced features, if this is helping so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year and I'm almost there. Every bit of support helps, so thank you. Now let's move on to feature number three, the quick note. Quick note is an underrated feature for capturing ideas before they fly away. Because like everyone says, if you don't write it down, it's gone instantly. It lets you instantly open your notes to jot down something and organize it later. It's how I catch ideas mid task without breaking my focus or content switching. Okay, this is where Apple Notes really starts to get powerful. Feature number four is smart folders and tags. Not many people know this, but you can add tags inside of any one of your notes. Things like hashtag weekly plan, hashtag life, 
hashtag content. Then using smart folders, these tags can automatically be sorted into folders for you. It's like creating a custom organization dashboard without ever having to do it manually. This is how I keep track of long-term projects, things like a yearly content plan or my next six months of school. Now let me show you how I use notes day to day. I keep one folder for each life bucket, school, content, working out, and work. Inside each of these, I got goal breakdowns, project plans, and ideas. I use the four features I just shared with you to allow me to organize this very quickly. And I understand it's nothing fancy, but it's just structured enough that the ideas can get out of my head and onto the page. This isn't the full system though. That's coming at the end. For now, let's move on. Your calendar gives your year structure. Your notes give you direction, but none of that matters if you don't actually do the work. That's where reminders comes in. It's not just some fancy to-do list. It's the very thing that keeps my calendar synced and my actions worthwhile. And it starts with visibility because it's iOS native, you get widgets, notifications, lock screen pop-ups, literally everything to keep the tasks right in front of your eyes. That alone keeps me more accountable than anything else I've ever used before. Now I structure my list using the same exact buckets I used inside of my notes. I also assign colors according to what my calendar was also using. This allows for a visual cue to know Oh, this reminder is connected to this calendar and I need to do it today. Then I split everything into two different layers, weeklies and dailies. Weekly tasks are automated using the repeat feature, stuff like guitar lessons, attending certain classes or content brainstorming sessions, stuff I can never miss. Daily tasks are more action-based, things like filming, scripting, or working on a specific assignment. Weeklies help me not forget and dailies help me execute. But sometimes tasks pop up into my head. It could be mid-class, mid-gym, literally whenever, I use the reminders widget to instantly capture these before I forget. This keeps the system frictionless. The faster I can capture them, the less likely I forget them and the more likely I do them. And that's really the point of all of this. I don't want a system that looks perfect or a system that's super pretty. I want something that's frictionless and helps me get my work done. Now, as promised, here's the part no one else on this entire platform is talking about. The tactical way to supercharge your entire Apple ecosystem, the flow chain structure. I don't just plan out my entire year then forget about it. This structure keeps everything alive by turning long-term goals into structured blocks and structured blocks into daily action. Every tool feeds into the next and together they run the year I plan. Notes become my area of intention. This is where I capture goals, ideas, and hypotheses. What do I want to accomplish? What are the metrics that measure success? What thoughts or strategies support these goals? And how do I actually think I will get there? It's not about tracking yet. It's about thinking clearly before the chaos begins. Let's say I'm planning my content for the next six months. I'll outline my upload target number, ideal posting days, and rough monthly milestones. Then I'll brand up ideas, notes on what's worked well, and notes on what I think could also do well. By the time I'm done, I've built a high-level operating doc. Not not just the goal, but the logic behind how I'm going to get there. This is where ideas meet time. No more, I'll get to it eventually. If it's not on the calendar, it's not going to get done. I take everything I mapped out in notes and give it a time slot. You want to upload weekly? Cool. When are you filming? When are you editing? When are you uploading? If it's not scheduled, it's not real. Then I use those color-coded calendars to separate different focus areas. This allows me to really lock in on some deep work when it's needed. But I don't go through and plan every single detail. That's usually the biggest mistake most people make. I just create containers where real progress can happen. That's the true difference between an idea and a system. Reminders become my area of execution. It's not just a checklist, it's the engine that runs my day. Everything I mapped out in notes, scheduled in calendars, reminders is what actually gets me to do it. It's the part of the system that shows up right when I need it. Notifications, widgets, anything. As long as I can see it, I'm gonna do it. That way, the year doesn't just live in a dock or on my calendar. It lives right in my hand, one task at a time until I'm finished with everything. Now, I know the title said plan my year with Apple apps, but I didn't just plan it. I built a system to live it, and I did it with everything that's on my phone. If this helped, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. And if you're deciding to build your own setup, let me know what it looks like in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.